background is that my father started the company now about 37 years ago. He started with Hughes 500s doing power line inspection and small sling, sling stuff. And uh, I was already working in the company for a couple of years because I made my license quite early. So I wanted to join the company anyway. When I took over, then we decided to go for larger aircraft and we were able to uh, get hold of this facility, which is very important for us because we consider it the backbone of our operations in addition to the other bases that we could found and, and build over the years. The basic idea to acquire Super Pumas was born about five years ago when we wanted to cover also the heavy lift market because we saw that our customer had the demand that not just to supply them up to the to the bell mediums but also for, for heavy lifting and when we were looking what is available on the market and what we will see is most reasonable especially also in reliability in, uh, in service from the manufacturer, spare support and economical uh, uh, operation we have decided for the for the Super Puma and we bought three aircraft from CHC N models, they, these uh, LL1s these were basically in offshore operation before and also then later one aircraft from New Zealand which was an ex-Japanese police helicopter and we all converted them with new avionics like Garmin Suit 750, 650, new transponder, uh, made them as light as possible and uh, yeah we found out how really capable the aircraft is and uh, some years ago we realized that in Sardinia there was a contract open which is in the air which is in the category from the Super Puma and we bid on it it was a trial period for one month and yeah they they, they tried it they were very happy so then a year, year later they made the trial period for two months they were very happy again and they especially because they have been the first users of the sky crane in Europe at all like 15 or 20 years ago. So they had very good data to compare between the Sky Crane and the Super Puma. And uh, where the Super Puma really excels is like the aircraft is dispatched very fast on the fire. It's got a high, uh, a high cruise speed. It has got a very good uh, endurance because you can stay on the fire for three hours and still have a very high uh, capability. Now just today, we finished the fourth season of, of uh, firefighting operation in Sardinia and within those four years we didn't have a single day where the aircraft broke down, which is quite extraordinary. So customers are happy, pilots are happy, engineers, so it's very good for, for, for planning and knowing that the reliability is there. And uh, the future for us is that we deal with this external tank that we're working on with an Australian company which is going to hold 4,200 liters. So using the full capability of the Super Puma. I worked, uh, I worked two years now for Heli Austria. In the summertime uh, with uh, the Super Puma in Sardinia for firefighting uh, missions. The Super Puma is uh, very good for the performance here. Um, we had this uh, very strong helicopter. And also uh, we have, let's say, never problems with the helicopter and it's a very good, very good helicopter, yeah.